Coming to the another application over here, that is thin film. So what is this thin film is in front of the S1 and S2. So this is your screen and this is the point P. Now this is the distance traveled by the light from the S1 to P and S2 to the P. There are no difference for both. Now, if we place a thin sheet, a thin glass plate or a mica sheet whose thickness is T and refractive index is mu. Now, what will happen? Because of the extra medium, because of this extra medium, it travels more distance. That means from the second one, it is traveling S2P. It is traveling a distance of S2P and the distance S1P can be written as an S1P plus P into this will be the mu minus one. This is an optical path of that. So now I'm solving this one. That is S2P minus S1P rearranging it minus T into mu minus one. This is your path difference, which is equal to zero for central bright. for central bright. So from this one, delta x is equal to t into, you can write it as an mu minus one or delta x can be replaced as an in terms of the beta or anything you can replace over there. Or you can write it as an n lambda is equal to number of ranges is equal to t into, this is mu minus one. n is equal to t into mu minus one by lambda, this represents number of shift in the fringes. Number of shift in fringes. Okay, now, so what is this particular thing? Why is this happening? Because of introduction of the S1 or some film over there, it is traveling an extra distance. So that extra distance, because of it is traveling some extra distance, whenever the actually when film is not there, the distance traveled from S1 to O and S2 to O is same. Since now the film is there, it is traveling more distance. That means to equate with the S2P, S1P has to travel some more distance here. So shift will be happening in this case. So that side in which you apply the film, the shift will be onto that side. Okay, now, or else you can write the shift formula as an shift is equal to that is T into this is mu minus one into capital D by small d or capital D by small d can be replaced with the beta. Beta is equal to, as you know, lambda into capital D by small d. From this one, capital D by small d can also be replaced by beta by lambda. This can also be written as a T into mu minus one times of beta by lambda like this. So this is called as a shift in the case space. Shift in the central maximum. Okay, if we, if we place another sheet in front of S2, then depend upon the whose refractive index is more, the shift will be on that side. Okay, sir. So these are your different, different conditions and the different, different situations. Another most important point is intensity is proportional to the width of slit. Okay, that is the size of the width of the intensity of the ring would decide. Perithi intensity would have been good. Okay, Randy.